Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you? I hope that all of you are doing fine. I am Azizullah Mufti uh, and we are le uh, doing this series of mathematics with A to Z maths. Our today's topic is from O level topic number 2 set language and notation or if it is IGCSE it is topic number C 1.2 and E 1.2 from the number okay this is our first video of, of this topic in this video we are going to learn the first objective what is the meaning of the term set or uh, and elements of a set okay second objective second thing what we will do in this video is describe and write mathematically that if any object or number is an element of a set or not okay and the last part is finite or infinite set will define about a set that it is finite or infinite okay so now let's start the first thing what is a set a set is a collection of related well-defined and distinct objects it is just a collection collection it has some criteria you can collect numbers on the base of some property for example square numbers you can collect numbers like natural numbers you can collect prime numbers so all this is a criteria and if you see in your real life someone can collect uh, make a set of all the names of for example shapes okay or favorite colors so all these things whenever it is a collection it is a set but it must follow some rule okay now there are total three main things what we need to understand that for a set for example a collection it must be of related objects what does this mean related objects it means <coughs> that there should be some certain property in common in all the elements of a set for example when you say a set a is first 10 natural numbers so it follows the rule the natural numbers and it is from the first 10 natural numbers okay so all the things which satisfy this criteria is a part of this set is an ob element of this set okay another example a set of english alphabets it is a b c d and going till z so all the english alph alphabets is a part of this set okay no other alphabet can be here because this we have defined that whatever is from the english alphabets will come into this okay let's take another example set c sparrow crow pen so what is the criteria over here the first two the sparrow and crow are birds how this pen is linked with it so it the objects are not related they don't follow some uh, certain property which is common in this so set c it cannot be a set okay the collection c it cannot be a set all right now let's see the second part which means it is the set should be well defined well defined means what it means that the condition should be clearly described it must be applicable everywhere okay it not be just uh, applicable in for some person and not acceptable for the other okay for example, a set of first 10 natural numbers, it is acceptable everywhere in the world. No one can challenge it. Okay. Set P, a set of good teachers, is it applicable everywhere? Maybe some people like a teacher and the others don't, are not satisfied with him or her. So this is not very well defined. Okay. Another collection, a set of intelligent students in the class again this criteria is not very much clear someone will say that a student a is intelligent 
others will say no b is more intelligent so this again this is not very well defined objects okay we are not very much clear and which is not acceptable everywhere so b and c the condition is not clearly mentioned okay now the third part distinct objects what does this mean <coughs> A distinct means the elements should not repeat okay elements should not repeat okay for example when we say the set of first five prime numbers it is two three five seven and eleven no element is repeated okay and number B set of letters of the word sparrow if you see here in sparrow R is repeated so we cannot say this as this in this format we cannot write a set if i want to write it properly i have to write r once okay r should be written once if you write it twice it will not be considered as a set okay so now this is the basic definition of the set what we have done all right now let's have some examples of sets before writing down the examples one thing you must be very much clear that a set name should be written in upper case upper alphabet it can be a it can be b c d anything but upper alphabet it can never be lower case okay for example we have a set a set of first five positive odd numbers okay so it's one three five seven nine let's have another example first four multiples of five okay n is the set of natural numbers so it is one two three four five six and it's going on all right c is a set of multiples of three three six nine so it follows the criteria it is very much clear okay there is not no ambiguity in this definition okay right now another example set of english alphabets so these are the examples of sets okay right now elements of a set when we talk about the elements of a set how to write it first thing that we use to we need to know this symbol this symbol means an element of and if we put a cross up on this symbol it means it is not an element of the set okay now for example i have set a in a i have elements one three five seven nine okay so if i want to say that one is the element of set a how will i write mathematically will i write mathematically one with the symbol a it means one is an element of a okay seven is an element of set a four is not an element of set a we cross it okay and 25 is not an element of set a so this is how we represent mathematically about a set to be an element of uh, an element to be a part of the set or not okay right now let's do some examples quickly so we have set b 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 okay now 40 is an element of b is it true yes it exists so it is 25 is an element of set b so is 25 present here no it's not so it means this is false 60 is not an element of b so is 60 present here yes it is so whatever is statement is given here it means this statement is false okay and the last 42 is not an element of p so is 42 present here no it's not so it means this is true okay so this is how we write uh, any element as a set or not mathematically okay now the next objective is the finite or infinite set to decide a set is a finite set or infinite set 
notice a few things over here. <coughs> set A, we have few examples. Set B is here. We have set C, D, and and then N. Okay. Now look here. Sets A and B do not have these dots, but set C, D, and N it has. So what does it mean? Is anything missing in the in these sets? Yes, you are right. Though there is no not anything missing. Actually, in set C, it is going on. It does not have any end limit. Okay. Same is the case with N. It does not have any ending element. No end limit. So it's going on and on. It never ends. Okay. Special case is about set D. It also contains dots, but after dots, we have some elements written as well. So it means it has end limit. We have used these dots as uh, to save our time instead of writing all the alphabets. I just wrote first few and then the dots means it is going on and on and then where it will end. So this is another way of writing a set and using this do these dots. These dots means so on, so on, going on, going on, okay? So we, whatever sets have some ending limit, those are called finite sets. The sets which end, for example, set A ends, B, it, it's ending at 25, okay? And D, it is ending at Z. So these sets are called finite sets, okay? Good. And the sets which does not have an ending limit, these are called infinite sets. So set N and set C are infinite sets. Okay, so now, now I hope that you understand the concept. Thank you very much for your time. And if you understand, so remember to subscribe the channel. And thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.